How's it going folks welcome to another video and in this one I wanted to discuss my top 5 must know tips and tricks for OBS Studio. Whether you've never streamed before in your life and want to get into it or whether you've streamed for years I'm hoping that you learn something new so let's get into it. Okay so my first tip is per scene audio. Now this is where you can have a scene where you've got your game audio, your desktop audio, and a microphone, and then you can have another scene which doesn't have any of that. It's super simple to do, and I highly recommend that everybody does it from the get-go. In order to do this, all you need to do is head into your settings, go to the audio tab, and disable your global audio sources. Once you've done that, head over to your scene where you want any audio, go into your sources, and make use of the audio input and audio output captures. When you select one of these, you get the option to choose from a microphone or desktop audio and that's you sorted. The second tip I'd like to cover is not using 1080p with a webcam. A lot of people nowadays use DSLR cameras for their stream but there's a lot of people who are still growing and still making their way on Twitch who use webcams. The C920 being the de facto standard for most people nowadays, it advertises itself as a 1080p webcam but when you're watching streams that have a 1080p webcam you can tell that it's struggling to get there. My advice for this is to downgrade the resolution to a 1280x720p and the webcam will have a much easier time producing the quality for the output and because you're a little shrink the box in the corner of a screen when you're playing a game you will be more than okay and people won't tend to notice the difference. Coming in at number three is the transition override. Now this is a standard use in OBS Studio and it has been for quite a while. All this does is let you have a different transition or a different scene. So if you have your start and soon screen and you're swapping to a gameplay scene, your transition from that can be different than when you swap from a gameplay scene to a BRB scene. And it all works seamlessly and effortlessly. In order to do this, all you need to do is head into your scenes tab, right click on a scene where you want to apply a different transition, right click the scene and scroll down to transition override. From here you can see your available transitions and you can select whatever one you wish to use. Before I get into tip number four, I need to announce that this video is sponsored by me. Um, if you're enjoying this video or have enjoyed any other video I've produced in the past, please feel free to hit subscribe. It's free, you can change your mind at any point and my goal with this channel is to assist people grow their streams and understand software and technology so that they can produce better content. But anyway, on to number four. Now we're going to talk about filters. Whether or not you are wanting to use a video filter or an audio filter, both of them are incredibly useful if done right. To view filters, all you need to do is right click on your source and select filters. With a video source, you will have the option for an audio filter and a video filter and with an audio source you will just have an option for an audio filter. I highly recommend with an audio source like a microphone that you apply a compressor with it if you don't have an external piece of hardware or software doing that for you. This will make it so that you don't burst people's eardrums if you're shouting or getting excited at a game. And for a video effect I really recommend using a colour correction and then adjusting the contrast and saturation. This will really make your video game or your camera source pop and people will take notice that things are looking a bit more colourful instead of all doom and gloom all the time. And finally, my last tip is making use of plugins. If you're using OBS Studio, you should 100% be using plugins of any sort. I recently did a video on my top five plugins, which I will link up the top there. And you can go check that out for some ideas. Plugins are made to build on to OBS Studio and enhance the experience, enhance the effects, the quality of your stream and add some fun gimmicks that you can make yours and have your stream be more unique compared to other people. I highly recommend that you go and check out some of them, see if you find a few that you like, implement them into your streams. It'll make the world of a difference for your viewers and for you because you'll know that the content you're producing is just that bit better because you've added some plugins and you've got some fun new features to use. And that is us for this video. Super short, super sweet. Hopefully you guys learned something new. If you did, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, 
also feel free to leave a comment below. I'm really still enjoying making these and I will continue to do so as long as I can. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.